We're live here at Upper Deck Headquarters. Kind of an exciting day today as Ultimate Collection is released on EPAC. Folks in hobby shops have been enjoying this for a while, but I've got uh, one of our heads of the EPAC program here to talk to you about an exciting twist with this year's product. Um, so yeah, so continuing on with uh, what we've done for Ultimate, we have the Quest Challenge returning to EPAC for 2017-18 Ultimate Collection. Um, so there's a lot of really cool ways that you can earn extra VIP award cards through this Quest program. So I don't know if, you've, if you guys are familiar with this, if you've played with this before, um, but essentially the way it works is that each card is going to be assigned a subject point. Now what a subject point is, it, it relates directly to a specific player and that will be considered the subject. Uh, so let's say this card for uh, Will Butcher over here, this card might be worth one point. This card might be worth uh, five points. It's all kind of based on like a rarity factor that we go through uh, when we create these checklists. Um, but essentially over time you can accumulate these subject points and by the end of the quest challenge, which will end on November 1st of this year, uh, if you have enough subject points for any given player, you'll be awarded quest points based on where you stand or where you end in those standings. Um, at the end of it, if you place within the top three, you'll receive either one point for third, three points for second, or five points for first. Uh, and essentially- and that is per player, correct? Yes, per player. So once you are awarded those points, you'll be uh, essentially included in a pool of award cards that you can get for this that will rank anywhere from uh, ink and paper VIP rookie cards to really cool one of one auto shield rookie cards that we put out there. Very collectible. Uh, they include the shield from the actual player's jersey on top of them. Uh, and there's like a whole list of really cool award cards that you can get from this, uh, all available on UpperDeckEPAC.com. If you go to the achievements page, there's a tile for the quest challenge on the dashboard as well. Uh, and you can go check all of that out there. So what people really need to realize is if they're opening up packs on EPAC as opposed to just a pack in their hobby shop, uh, between now and November 1st, Pretty much everything has a lot more value to it because people are chasing this quest program, correct? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, essentially there's there's a value to having them on the website during the quest game, whereas you might not normally have that in pulling these out of a physical pack in that, um, like we were saying before, there's going to be players that maybe have less cards in the set. Um, for instance, Doug Gilmore, he's the retired player. He has a card in here um, that maybe he only has five different subjects or five different individual cards for. Uh, if you have all five of those, then chances are you're gonna be able to dominate that specific subject for that player and you're gonna be able to rack up a few quest points from that. Um, so kind of the strategy here is to uh, try to find one player that you're going for and hit it really hard. Uh, find multiple players if you're looking to really get into the quest game and build your uh, quest values. Um, but for the most part, you can trade for just one player and just really get yourself solidified on the rankings for that as well. And people need to be aware of trades right now between now and November 1st, right? Yeah, make sure you don't lose your shirt on these for sure. Uh, so there's going to be people that are looking out there for some big quest point values. So uh, the subject points on a card that you might not realize uh, looks like a regular card to you if you were to pull that out of a pack. But on EPAC, it might have a pretty big point value based on how rare it is or what we deemed it to be. Um, so you're going to want to make sure that you, you know what you have in your hand and you don't trade it away for nothing because you can have some really cool high value cards that value out during this process of the, uh, the whole quest game. And speaking of trades, people probably want to check those leaderboards, right? Yes, absolutely. So to stay updated with this, uh, you can go to the leaderboard page, which is again, if you go to your dashboard and click on the quest challenge you can check out where you rank within each player that's available on this whole checklist. Uh, and then from there, we also update, I believe it's about every half hour to an hour, the leaderboards for the overall quest points should update on their own as well. That's it folks, check it out at upperdeckepac.com. The new quest challenge for Ultimate Collection is live.